So we're trying to get over there. This pass, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I have no root flutter at all. Trellis is a programme funded by the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council who give UCL money to support EPSRC funded researchers at UCL to work with external communities and create knowledge exchange opportunities. We're using some of that money specifically to connect artists to the researchers at UCL um, and what we're trying to do is explore new ways of creating that opportunity for knowledge exchange. So in December 2018 we had a matchmaking event that brought together researchers and artists based in the area local to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park where UCL East will be um, and those part, those people who attended then had the opportunity to apply for money to work together to explore areas of mutual interest. Thank you. I switch between making different sorts of things um, but they're usually about places not in terms of what they look like on the surface but usually in terms of what they feel like or something that they are underneath almost like their psyche. My interest is in vibrational modes of certain membranes or mathematical idealisations of them and the lines that stay fixed when you vibrate a membrane at certain frequencies. So when we were preparing the proposal, I actually found it really useful to start a Google Doc for James. And so Amanda would write down some of the notes from our meetings with additional thoughts and other references, and then I'd go and edit it, and we'd kind of construct this online collaboration, and we'd be able to see it change. And <laughs> Often what I find when we're talking in real life, I, I take a while to digest <laughs> certain things that you've said and, and sort of process those things and I found the Q&A section in particular and I think Google Docs really fun. I guess I'm trying to explore how ideas can be articulated on paper or into a, you know, into a tangible form. Well for me anyway that a lot of this is about just exploring the way that Amanda thinks and understanding the context that she's working in. And the walk was very much, for me anyway, it was exploratory, again, just trying to like, interact and understand how Amanda's thinking about spaces, um, especially about the space around Lee Valley and the Olympic Park. Just see which ideas like pop into being. I'm not sure if I was very aware of how the process was going to work or anything, but it's been a really interesting uh, journey working with two researchers now and understanding their, the way they think about their, their research and their, their practice. I think it's quite a new way of working for me because often I start with an idea, you know, my own idea, and then it does change as I work through the process, but it's, it's still, you know, I'm starting with a set of preformed ideas. Whereas this, having to work with someone else's body of research but then bouncing it off someone else as well, and saying, you know, is this sort of, is this working? Is this interesting? Or is this? It's, it's quite a different way of working for me, I think. And it's been really interesting in that, in that regard and really useful, I think. Primarily, I'm a painter. I make abstract paintings that have their starting point in found objects that are almost invariably two dimensional. So they're pictorial, but they're not art diagrams, charts, blueprints. I'm a theoretical physicist, but I look at processes in urban systems. In addition to that, I am also a dancer. And so when I saw the project, I saw this as an opportunity in order to bring together all these different aspects in my life that I have normally take them apart, you know, it's very, very exciting for me. <laughs> Before even looking at her work, somehow we, we have this chemistry and, and I think this is very important. When you collaborate with somebody, you need to have, you know, like this level of understanding and be able to talk to each other. And, uh, and then when I saw her work and, and, and I really, really, really liked it. Of course, this is, this is the first day when you look at this work, it's beautiful. But when I talk to her and she tells me how she constructs it, then there are lots of similarities. In, in the way she thinks about things and the way I think about my work as well. So I think that even though we have different languages and different backgrounds and so forth, we have many similarities in the way of questioning the world. 
We started at Casa and she introduced me to some of her research with cities. A couple of weeks later she came to the studio and saw my work. Conversations have followed on from that and we've also been able to use the dance rehearsal space at UCL. All our meetings have been face to face and I think this is very important because um, it's the only way to, to really understand uh, each other. So when I gave her a lot of my work and my material, I mean, maybe it was too much and overwhelming because of course there are many different aspects that we, we can work on. And then little by little, realizing you know, these similarities. And we talk a lot about patterns and, and patterns has been you know, like the, the, the thing that glows together. It would be completely absurd to think in a few months I'm going to understand these vast concepts and, and I'm not. This is a lifetime's work that we're looking at here. You know, she'll explain something and the first couple of sentences I kind of get what she's on about and then I'm lost and I keep having to rein her back in and, you know, can you go over that again please? And, you know, I don't really know what fractal dimension is or what the Euclidean distance. To me it's a sort of form of rather obscure poetry. But really what I'm, what I'm looking for in her work is, is a process that I can somehow translate into drawing. I think at a more abstract level we're bonding quite well, but now at the pragmatic level of how we're going to be able to then put all this into a piece that makes sense, you know, with all these different languages, I think we are going to be facing challenges, but exciting ones, you know, enriching ones. Mm -hmm.